Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be making a few alcoves and niches, um, kind of like the pieces you can see here, but uh, there's nothing really new here, um, at least technique-wise there's nothing new, but uh, I'll run through things quickly anyway, and uh, as always, there's a link in the description to the PDF file. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, for each of the alcoves, we'll first need to glue the artwork, and the base, to, uh, to some thin corrugated cardboard. Then we'll cut those out, and uh, if you like, you can also glue some of the wall texture from episode 1 to the back, and, uh, and then, when it's dry, trim away the excess. So, something like that. Then, the only thing left to do is hot glue the alcove to the back of the base, so uh, something like this. And when we're done, this is the kind of thing that we're left with. So yeah, we can, uh, we can place these against a wall, or at the end of a passage, um, just add a bit of decoration here and there, or, uh, or maybe as the location of some kind of puzzle or trap. Okay, for each niche, we'll first need to glue the texture to some thin cardboard, and, uh, and then trim it to size. And the idea for these is to have them sit on top of a room or passage wall, like this, so we don't need to do anything to the front half inch of the piece, but uh, we will need to build up the rear one inch portion to the same height as our walls. So in this instance, I've cut out two pieces of double corrugated cardboard that are two inches long by one inch wide, though uh, obviously these measurements will vary depending upon which niche you're working on. Though uh, it's also worth pointing out that uh, I personally like to add in another piece of thin cardboard, um, just to give the whole thing a bit more clearance. Anyway, as you can see, all we need to do then is glue them all together, with our niche texture on top, and, uh, and that's all there is to it. Though, as I say, for the smaller niches, the, the extra bits of cardboard will only need to be a half inch wide, um, like you can see here. Okay, so once all that's done, you can, uh, you can go ahead and decorate these however you like. So, in this example, you can see that I've glued on a few bones from the first part of episode 12, to, uh, to make a small burial niche. And on this larger piece is glued one of the statues from the second part of episode 12. So yeah, as you can see, we can use these to add some interest to a dungeon passage without limiting any of the playable space. But uh, like I said earlier, you can decorate these in a number of different ways, so uh, here's one that contains a few random bits and pieces. And here's another one that features a few levers, and uh, you can see how I made these in the previous episode. And I think that's it for this one, so uh, just a short video this time, but uh, I do just want to point out that part of the idea for these came from a viewer's suggestion, so yeah, it's always worth getting in touch if there's something you'd like to see. Anyway, see you next time.